I have always thought procrastination was a vice, but against my better judgment, I've come to believe that it can be a virtue. So I'm the opposite of a procrastinator. As long as I can remember, I've been a precrastinator, which is a great term for somebody who just feels a strong impulse to get things done as soon as possible. So an email pops up, if I don't answer it in the first four seconds, I feel like all of a sudden my world is spinning out of control. Uh, when I have something due in six months, I will wake up tomorrow morning feeling a tremendous sense of urgency to begin making progress on it. And I always thought that was a great way to be efficient and productive. And yeah, it helps to, to churn out a lot of ideas, but when you want original ideas, it's not necessarily the best way to go. The reason is when you dive right into a task, you end up with a lot of tunnel vision. You think in linear ways, and so you sit down and you only have access to the obvious and familiar ideas that you initially started with. And what I've learned to do is actually take a step back and say, what if I delay the start of a task so that it's in the back of my mind for a couple days, and I'm much more likely then to see unexpected connections between ideas, to have leaps from one possibility to another. And part of the reason I got excited about learning to procrastinate is uh, I had a student who collected a bunch of data suggesting that people who procrastinate somewhat are more original and creative than people who never do it and those who always do it. Um, of course, if you wait till the deadline, then you're just gonna have to rush to finish the simplest idea. Um, but there is a sweet spot where procrastination actually helps with divergent thinking, with in uh, incubation, and with nonlinear connections.